ओम शांति बाबा साकार मुरली जून सिक्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री बाप दादा मधुबन वर्जन ऑफ श्री बाबा एसन ऑफ द मुरली स्वेट चिल्ड्रन मेक एफर्ट टू बिकम बॉडीलेस बॉडीलेस मीन्स नॉट टू हैव एनी बॉडीली रिलीजन फॉर रिलेशनशिप मीन्स नो बॉडी रिलीजन नो बॉडी रिलेशनशिप दैट इज कॉल्ड बॉडीलेस लेट द सोल कंटिन्यू टू रिमेंबर द फादर अलोन क्वेश्चन वेन विल यू चिल्ड्रन हैव हंड्रेड परसेंट पावर एंड सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन वॉट एफर्ट मस्ट यू मेक फॉर दैट आंसर when your children reach the final moments of running the race of remembrance you have 100% power you will have 100% power running the race of remembrance means beyond the karmatit stage final stage the arrow will instantly strike the target when you explain this knowledge to anyone at that time so time will come such that arrow will immediately shoot the target we will become you can say karmatit at that time everything will be settled all karmic accounts also and whatever the service we wanted to do we can do very easily for this what we have to do for that thing make effort to become soul conscious look in the mirror of your heart to check that all your old accounts have been burnt away by having remembrance so baba so the method how to become the karmatit how to become in how to come in the final stage <clears throat> song you are ocean of love we thirst for one drop supreme god father is the ocean of love and he is giving you can say all the things to the children om shanti you children know that alpha means the father has now come there is the praise what is the praise we receive liberation in life that is the sovereignty of heaven from the father in a second because the father is the creator of heaven liberation in life in a second is received from only the father nobody else human beings cannot receive it from human beings as soon as a child is born he becomes an heir when someone first comes you ask that person to fill in a form who is the father of souls it is said an embodied soul a charitable soul it is not said it is not said what is not said embodied supreme soul or sinful supreme soul charitable supreme soul no it is said a great soul a charitable soul a sinful soul a religious soul everything applicable to soul not to the supreme soul it is remembered that souls remain separated from the supreme soul for a long time therefore god surely has to come to liberate you from sorrow we are you can say far away from him for a long time of 5000 years and we were not remembering him during our you can say golden and silver age of time when we become you can say painful when we are in sorrow then and then we are remembering and calling him o purifier o liberator come so he comes to liberate us from sorrow on our calling so when people come first ask them to fill in a form who is the father of you a soul you miss not a you can say personal soul who is the father of your body there are two separate things i and mine <clears throat> i am a soul and this is my body where is the place of residence of me a soul who is the father of you a soul it would not be asked who is the father of the supreme soul first of all you have to know alpha he is the truth the ocean of knowledge he is the father of all no human beings or judges etc know that they are souls nobody knows 
it is the soul that speaks with the organs of a body i am a judge i am a surgeon without soul body cannot speak so baba says it is the soul who is you can say speaking that i am a soul i am a judge i am a so and so <clears throat> only the one father makes you soul conscious you now know that you are souls at the rest all the rest are relatives of your bodies it is in terms of relationships of bodies that someone is a mother someone is a father etc and when there is relationship then and then there is attainment so if we simply say god allah khuda ishwar prabhu there is no you can say relationship fragrance so baba say he is our father baba why we are establishing relationship because to have inheritance in terms of souls we are brothers this has to be explained that someone is someone his mother someone is father etc so this has to be explained first that he is the father the inheritance of liberation in a second is remembered who is the one who gives liberation in life in the golden age there is liberation in life and in the iron age there is life of bondage so three three stages of soul always soul passes through three stages one is liberation another is liberation in life and third one is life of bondage <clears throat> this too has to be explained the system here of filling in a form is very good you children know that the memorial of the father of us souls is here that incorporeal one is the father of us souls we are corporeal there is the memorial of the incorporeal one that memorial is in form of light in all the religion that incorporeal one is the father of us souls we are corporeal there is the memorial of the incorporeal one therefore he must also surely have come memorial indicates that he has incarnated in this world he has come to this world the way of coming may be different than us but he has come that's the reason there is memorial he is the one who makes impure ones pure old ones new the world changes from new to old there is just the one world therefore the creator of the world must definitely be one there cannot be two of them god is the creator he makes this old world new the new world that was bharat was heaven bharat bru miss earth rat miss diamonds the earth was totally loaded fully with diamonds that was heaven the earth was joined with everything no partition god is one the world is one <clears throat> the world is not another only the world what we are seeing here that is the only living world that is only the human world that's the reason baba said god is one the world is one only the transformation of the world takes place from golden age to iron age world there was the golden age and it is now the iron age there was ancient bharat therefore the one who make the world new would have made bharat new only he can make the transformation nobody else when people come here for the first time explain this secret to them what is the secret you are a soul souls continue to take rebirth the father comes and makes you soul conscious i am a judge i am a barrister or i belong to the christian religion all of those are bodily religions hindu muslim christians all are bodily religions souls are bodiless and so they don't have any relationships or religions a soul by himself becomes karmatit then once again souls have the relationship of mothers and fathers etc was karmatit then they are coming in body then the relationship start they change their costumes they change their parts and have new parents souls continue to take rebirth in fact the souls are incorporeal and reside in the incorporeal world baba is making the form first lesson again and again because we are forgetting then 
when a soul adopts a body he says this is my name and form the father sits here and says to you children what he says consider yourselves to be souls you have to return home no choice you have played your parts for 84 births now cycle is going to come and end you became a barrister you became a king you are now becoming the masters of the world up till now whatever we became that was limited barrister or king not a master of the land it is you can say law of the drama that only deities can become the masters of the world nobody else can become even europeans they have 70% kingdom all over the world but they cannot become the masters of the world or kings of the whole world only the supreme father the supreme soul can say these two souls these things are not in the intellects of anyone else they say that each soul is a supreme soul in the world the father comes and explains to you the secrets of the world cycle you now know what we know that you truly have been around the cycle of 84 births we were not knowing we now know when we became baba children this is now your final birth and you have to return home people make effort to go to the land of liberation i a soul am a resident of the land of liberation but because of having body consciousness you don't know this when body consciousness come maya comes that is we lost that soul consciousness we souls reside in the incorporeal world so we forget everything we have come here to from there to play our parts all remember god in order to go to god why they remember in order to go to god because all are unhappy all are in sorrow right now therefore first of all explain that a soul and a body are two different things both are totally separate each soul has a mind and intellect in him he is living being so soul he is a living being body he is not a living being we can see the difference between soul and body soul is immortal body is mortal soul is always there body is temporary soul require always peace body always require motion or movement if movement or motion is gone then there will be this is or that soul always point of light always source of unlimited light always source of unique light while body image changes child then adolescence then mature then old so this is the difference between souls and body souls are imperishable bodies are perishable baba goes on the father of all souls is that incorporeal supreme father the supreme soul the knowledge full one <clears throat> full of knowledge he knows past present future we don't know even what we had before 15 days we forget short term memory he alone is called the god of the gita all the devotees have love for god the ocean of love he pulls the devotees so much there can only be one god there are so many devotees all are impure they all remember the purifier and so there must be the one incorporeal one all the rest as are his creation brahma vishnu and shankar are also a creation the human world too is a creation the highest one high father is the resident of the supreme abode just as a soul is a star so the supreme father the supreme soul is a star just like our bodily father is similar to us same way our father of the soul is like us only that is star it has been explained to you children that there is only one world and that it has to repeat there is not many world no you can say human being lives in any on the planet baba is very clear about that from from the beginning and he makes the even vision to the children so baba says only one world and that it has to repeat from golden age to iron age all the religions have to go around the cycle 
all actors are playing their parts no one's part can be changed each part has to be played there is no question of moks or total liberation from the drama everyone has to come to play their part on this world drama stage first of all it is essential to explain who the father of soul is they say oh god the father who said this soul speaks through their bodies the father of souls is the supreme father the supreme soul this is the main thing baba said this is the main thing that you, we are a soul and he is our father of the soul you mustn't debate with anyone too much there is liberation in life in a second the father explains to you children children become soul conscious at this time this world is impure because of not knowing god the father they have become orphans without parents in golden age they experience the reward there is no need to remember the father there in the golden age because we all are equivalent to him we all are happy so no need to remember father there people of the world don't know that the people of bharat receive this reward from the father bharat becomes heaven nobody knows even the bhar residents of bharat they don't know <clears throat> it is maya ravan that makes it into hell bharat has to become old from new has to become no choice it is a world drama law nature is nature law for instance baba give example if a building is going to be 100 years old it would be said to be old after 50 years in the same way the world becomes old from new then who will make it new again how it how will it repeat the world was pure someone must have made it pure only the one father is the purifier he alone would make it pure who makes it impure who makes it pure no one can understand this you now belong to the father so we know the father means the father you don't only half believe or three quarters believe in the father baba says faith means faith no question of percentage in faith however maya brings into body consciousness all your efforts are required to become bodiless and to belong to the father so this effort is required to be bodiless and to remember baba and belong to him in fact maya he is a great enemy you claim the kingdom with the power of yoga only by having remembrance do you receive your inheritance from the father the power is that of remembrance alone the father says forget your bodies and all bodily relations and remember me because you have to come to back to me why we have to remember him because we have to back to him is back home we have to go back home the golden age is liberation in life and the iron age is bondage in life there is bondage of ravan that is five vices it doesn't exist there in the golden age the father comes and liberates you you know what we know that there was supreme peace and prosperity in bharat it is and there now nothing is there now we can see the condition of bharat and bharat in particular world in general <clears throat> therefore the supreme father must surely have established it that completely peace and prosperity must be established by him he would have come for that he comes at the confluence says and makes bharat liberated in life all the rest of religion are by plots <clears throat> baba says all religions which are coming later on they all are by plots nothing else this bharat is old right now when there was the kingdom of deities in new bharat there was one religion only one religion that was eternal deity religion no other religion or other people say angelic religion that is called heaven therefore when you give the fathers introduction first they won't argue otherwise they will argue the father only tells truth because he is the truth sri mat is from him next are the instruction of brahma brahma definitely receive instruction from the father 
Brahma he is now in the night. He is he was in the day. The day of Brahma and the night of Brahma means the day and night of the Brahma Kumars and Kumaris. The night of Prajapita Brahma would also definitely be the night of the children. The father explains what he explains. I come and first of all create Brahmins through the mouth of Brahma. The Brahmins clan is needed. Clan is needed. So clan is creating, not the caste. This sacrificial fire has been created. It would not be said to be the sacrificial fire of Sri Krishna, no. This is the sacrificial fire of the knowledge of Rudra. This is the rosary of Rudra. <clears throat> Further, Shiva created the sacrificial fire at this time. Father Shiva. Nobody can create sacrificial fire which can run for about 100 to 125 years. The father sits here and teaches this. He is coming and sitting in the body of Brahma and teaching us. Children, I change you from ordinary humans into Narayan, into the kings of kings. This is Raj Yoga, not the subject Yoga. Baba is coming and teaching us Raj Yoga to make us kings. Kings of self, not of other, that is master of the self. Sri Krishna would not be called God. God is one. God is truth. God is father. Krishna is not the father of all souls. God teaches Raj Yoga through which you become like Sri Krishna. The main thing is that you children first have to become soul conscious. This is the essence of the everything. Otherwise, you won't be able to strike anyone with an arrow. Our service cannot become effective till we become soul conscious. Only by becoming soul conscious and remembering the father, you will receive power. This is the only way to get the power from the supreme power, that is almighty authority, otherwise not possible. When you become really strong, the arrow will be shot in, shot at Bhishma Pitama. Means you can say big, big mics, big, big people, eh? the renowned people of this world will come into knowledge. But when, when we become really strong, when we become really soul conscious, it has to be happen gradually, not immediately. You now continue to receive power. You have to become 100% by the end, have to no choice. <clears throat> you have to run a race. You are now studying. You will become very strong. You should explain that you are living souls and that God the Father is one, not many. Ask those people why they say that each soul is the Supreme Soul. Ask, ask the question. Then curiosity will arise in them. God the Purifier is the only one. You are the ones who take rebirth. God doesn't have a body of his own. He is Rudra, that is Shiva. Human beings cannot be called God. A name is given to the body of a soul, not to the soul even, body of a soul. Souls are all the same. Sometimes a soul has a body of a barrister. It, does, it isn't that a soul becomes a dog or a cat, etc. Human beings become human beings only. Science has also proved with the help of subtle body. The father says, beloved children, human beings only become human beings. Animals are of different varieties, that is species. At this time, it is as though human beings are worse than animals, that is, in their characteristics. Their face is human being. Face is like a human being, but their intention is like a monkey. So Baba says, they are worse than animals. Maya has ruined everyone's life according to the drama. Because it is a cycle, it has to go down. The father now comes and makes everyone's life worthwhile. The people of Bharat call God the mother and father. People abroad say, oh God, the father. Only they are telling father. Acha, if he is the father, the mother is all known needed with him. They speak of Eve, but who is she? Eve, Adam and Eve, Adam, uh, Adam and Eve, Adam and Bibi. Who has been called Eve? Mama would not be called Eve. Ba Mama he Jagdamba. This one Brahma he is called Eve because he creates through this one's mouth. 
and this is why the saying you are the mother and father can be proved how can we be prove the prove the principle that he is mother and father this is the only way we can prove only the one is called the mother and father that is supreme soul that is shiv baba there also has to be mother of jagdamba she is also human all of these things can be imbibed when you make constant efforts to become soul conscious without that we have a doubt how it is possible when we become soul conscious then and then everything can fit in our mind and intellect if you don't have remembrance you cannot imbibe these things maya is very powerful if you don't stay in remembrance she will continue to punch you maya even punches those who have been here for 10 to 12 years she turns their faces away they forget and then say that it wasn't in their fortune they are blaming the fortune but they forget that they are creator of their fortune <coughs> sorry there is a song what is the song i have come to create my fortune so baba is given giving a pen to write our fortune by ourselves and the name of that pen is our thoughts our sankalps <clears throat> which fortune did you create when you come when you came when you came here that of lux that of marrying lakshmi bab dada says look in the mirror of your heart am i worthy it is easy to say but what about our practical life have i become as sweet as the father the father says become soul conscious the more you remember me the father the more you will accumulate if you don't remember you won't accumulate it is only by having remembrance that your old accounts will continue to be burnt away the fire of yoga means remembrance that is called volcanic yoga i a soul am remembering god the father also says have the faith what is the faith that you are souls and remember me it is a mistake to say that souls are the supreme soul god never takes rebirth you constantly take rebirth my birth is divine and unique his birth is in human body but not through the concept home of the mother he incarnates direct in human body i enter an ordinary body otherwise where would brahmins come from a mature prajapita brahma is needed means mature means bodily form on the top prajapita brahma is not there it is a brahma is there but he is not a prajapita there a young child he is not needed but mature because so he must have experience of all the life he can explain to others also child cannot they always show radha and krishna as young how could so many people call a young child prajapita how would you call sri krishna the mother and father the supreme father the supreme soul has now come as the guide he will take all souls back with him the father explains very clearly first of all ask them to feel in a form the main thing is who is the god of the gita who created this sacrificial fire this is called the sacrificial fire of rudra or sacrificial fire of knowledge the supreme father the supreme soul is the ocean of knowledge the father of all acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembers and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and spiritual children's love remembers good morning and says namaste to the love remembers good morning and say namaste to the spiritual children मीठे मीठे सिकल दी बच्चों प्रति मात पिता बाप दादा का याद प्यार और गुड मॉर्निंग रूहानी बाप की रूहानी बच्चों को नमस्ते हम रूहानी बच्चों की रूहानी मात पिता बाप दादा को याद प्यार गुड मॉर्निंग और नमस्ते शुक्रिया बाबा शुक्रिया एसेंस फॉर धारणा पॉइंट नंबर वन बिकम सोल कॉन्शियस रिनाउंस बॉडीली रिलीजन्स एंड मेक इट फॉर्म that we souls are brothers become as sweet as the father 
So how to remember Baba? That Baba clarifying by forgetting all religions, forgetting all relationships with other souls and for the relation, all relationship with the mother. Point number two, become soul conscious. In the first sentence, Baba concentrate on soul conscious. In the second sentence, same thing beginning, become soul conscious and give father's introduction. You receive the inheritance of liberation in life from the father in a second. You must never debate with anyone. Blessing. May you be a greatly powerful soul and achieve success in every task. So how to become a greatly powerful soul and how to achieve success in every task? Baba is showing the way with your courage and enthusiasm. So Baba is giving blessing and showing the method too. So Baba explains on the path of devotion, it is said, what is said? Courage and enthusiasm can change dust into wealth. This is the power of thought. Baba always says, eh? whether in devotion or whether in knowledge, there we don't have power because we lose the connection. Here we have power because we are connecting with the Supreme Baba. When you have courage and enthusiasm, others will cooperate with you. Even if you lack wealth, your enthusiasm will attract wealth from somewhere or other. It will even bring you success. It is the duty of great instrument souls to remain enthusiastic and give enthusiasm to others too. We are great instrument of Baba, all Brahmin souls. So we are responsible for this thing. We always remain enthusiastic and give enthusiasm to others. It is because you have enthusiasm now that they show those non-living images as constantly smiling and powerful. See our statues. Baba says, see your statues. That is the proof that you were always full of enthusiasm. So don't lose enthusiasm. Don't lose courage and enthusiasm. Slogan, fortunate souls are those who have canopy of Bab Dada's love over them. Always feel that we are under canopy of Supreme Baba, that is Shiva Baba. Acha Om Shanti.